The easiest way to style your components is using the style prop, where you get to pass in a JavaScript object that describes how you want your styling to look, and the React then handles the rest and passes that into the style prop of your DOM attribute, right Kiwi? While it's the easiest, I would say the style prop is also the least useful. It's great for when you have to do some one-off styles or something like that, but it gets really unruly if you need, if you want to use it for styling everything. Now, it is true that in React Native, for example, the style prop is outside of UI toolkit, it's pretty much the only thing you can use. The style prop is something that comes with every basic DOM element. Divs have a style prop, H2s, paragraphs, so on, everything. One common approach to using it is defining these styles objects. So we have styles with a font family and a text align. If we say, let's say color is red, all of these things should turn red. Here you can see kind of the limitations of the style prop. You need to be using JavaScript objects. So font family, text align are all using camel case instead of the normal dash notation. And you have to pass in your values as strings. Uh, the nice thing though is that you can pass in JavaScript expressions as well. That random is bigger than 0.5. Now every time this refreshes, the color is going to change. You can use everything from JavaScript, so it's very, very flexible. And if you're already used to JavaScript and you have no idea about how CSS works, you're still not going to be able to use it because you need to know what property names you can use. Where it becomes a little bit tricky is here we have, let's say, a hello component, color black. You'll see that nothing happens. That's this component up here. So we have to manually pass in the style prop. And now this is going to turn black. Another limitation of the style prop is you have to manually pass it around to make sure that it comes into all the components that you actually want it to use in. But it's really good for these sort of one-off styling tricks, something that you need to override with some JavaScript where you have some other way to style your component, but you need to override a, sp a specific property. That's where the style prop comes in very handy. The way styles come into your HTML, every time you use your component, it's going to have this style prop with all of your styles copied in. So that's the style prop. It's available by default, very flexible, and too far from normal CSS. I recommend using it when you have something very quick you have to hack together.